Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, quadruple homicide that took place yesterday in far west Oklahoma City. It was about 9.35 when police received a 911 call from a 10-year-old inside the residence indicating that everyone inside the house appeared to be dead. Officers responded to the scene. They made it. They found the, the young man out front. They went inside the house trying to verify what they were told and to see if there were any victims that they could save. Once inside the house, officers found five people deceased. At that point, uh, once they realized that the five were beyond saving, uh, they checked to make sure there was nobody else in the home, nobody else was there, they backed out. At that point, we have to apply for a warrant to go in and process the scene. That went on throughout much of the day yesterday. Uh, we talked to neighbors, talked to everyone else uh, that could be involved, family, friends. Uh, and investigators determined that sometime overnight, uh, the husband and father in the home, Jonathan Candy, became involved in an altercation with his wife, Lindsay. At some point, he armed himself with a gun. He shot her multiple times, killing her. At that point, he systematically went through the home, shooting and killing their children. All of the children belonged to them. There was one child, the one that called 911, that was found unharmed. We don't know why he was left unharmed. I know that's a question everybody has. That's a question we have, too. In the end, nobody's ever going to know the answer to that. It's unclear what made him want to go through the home, killing the children. But make no mistake about it, what happened in that residence was nothing short of a massacre. Those children were hunted down and, and killed after the woman was killed. The child was placed with relatives, uh, with a relative uh, to take care of him. It was a horrible thing for everybody, the officers who were there, uh, for the people who heard about it, for the investigators and crime scene analysts who had to go inside. And it was certainly uh, uh, most horrible for the young man who woke up and found the carnage in that home. There are, uh, we have no calls to that residence uh, regarding any type of domestic abuse. We have no history from them in our system showing any type of domestic problems being reported to us. So that's something that we're going to talk to friends and family and see if they may know something. But we are not aware of any domestic cases involving those two. I know you guys and I know the public has a lot of questions. For what it's worth, we have a lot of questions. And unfortunately, most of those are going to go unanswered. With that, I'll open it up to questions for you guys. Was it one gun that was used for all of the deaths? I don't know how many guns were used. Uh, they were all shot to death, but I don't know the total number of guns used. Were there multiple guns in the home? I don't know. I don't know how many guns were recovered. Is it confirmed that he worked at Cox? I, I've heard he worked. He, he worked uh, at Paycom Center, uh, but I don't. Uh, that's something uh, that apparently he he worked there on some basis. I don't know what his job was there. So you said that the, the children were hunted down. Did, does that mean that there were multiple areas of the home where the bodies were found? Yes. Yes, there were two bodies downstairs, the wife and one of the children, and two were upstairs. Both of those were the children. And I'm saying children. One of them uh, was about 18, so he was uh, right on the cusp of becoming an adult. But he was one of their children. Was the 10-year-old, and I guess you said he was there during all of this? Was he in an area of the home where this was happening? I don't know what area of the home he was in. He woke up and discovered what had happened. So he had apparently been asleep the whole time. And again, it's unclear why he was left alone. Was there any signs of struggle? I mean, did the, the older boy fight back? Were there, do, do we know anything? I, I do not know uh, about the scene if, if somebody struggled with him. There's, it, there's every indication that as soon as he found them, they were killed. Were the kids shot in their um, bed? Were they also sleeping? Um, one of them was shot in a bed. At least one of them was shot in the bed. 
what's the uh, protocol for uh, wellness programs at this point? You sit down with the officers and investigators, do they get time off? Right. If, if, if they need time off, the, the question was, what's the protocol uh, for our uh, wellness? That's the unit we have on our police department that addresses the mental health of uh, police officers who go out to scenes like this. And of course, they're going to meet with our wellness unit, and uh, we have counselors on staff that can meet with them if, if they need to do that. So, yeah, there's a lot of concern with what these guys see and, and, and what, they, what they do. Where was the gun found when police arrived? I don't know. I don't know where the gun was found. What's next for the investigation? I mean, obviously, we want to answer as many questions as we can, but like, no one's going to be charged in this situation, presumably, because the suspect killed himself. Correct. There's no suspect outstanding, no suspect that, that's alive at this point. So uh, we document the case as best we can. And uh, uh, unfortunately, it, it uh, ended very tragically for everyone involved. Do your investigators at this point know if the gun was bought recently? Or are you guys looking into any purchases like that? I, I don't know anything about the gun purchase or how long they owned it. I truly really don't. Did it seem that it was planned or maybe just an incident that happened that night? It's unknown. It's unknown if, if it was planned or if, or if it was something spontaneous. There's just no way for us to know that at this point. I you checking like his social media stuff and, and everything and, and investigating to see him, kind of what his background was? Of course. We want to look at all angles of, of exactly what was going on with this family, the entire dynamic of of their family together and, and just look for any clues, not only to help with this case, but maybe it's a precursor for something down the line with other families. I didn't know if he found a computer and we're looking through it to see if he, you know. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know if they would examine that. Will there be any toxicology reports to see if he was on anything during this? That would probably be a question for the ME's office. I, I don't know that that would make a difference on our end, but I don't know if that's a routine test for the enemy to run. All right, everybody good? Yeah. All right, thank you for coming. Thank you.